everybody, and welcome to the Blu-ray Hunter. I'm the Blu-ray Hunter, Jonathan Moody, and uh, we have a fun, fun show for you today. So I figured since it is November, and during the month of November, uh, there is always a Criterion sale. I mean, there's always like Black Friday, and there's always a Criterion sale at uh, Barnes & Noble. So I figured... Since I'm probably going to be picking up some Blu-rays uh, for... I have a little friend right here. Uh, since I'm going to be picking up some Blu-rays from, Criter from the Criterion Collection, um, I figured might as well do some stuff. Do you want to you wanna help me? Huh? You want to help? Huh? Look at him. Watch him. Watch him. When I ask him a question. Zeke, do you want to help? Huh? You want to help? He's very, very you know... He likes being calling questions. Come here, kissy. Kissy? <laughs> All right. So we're going to begin. All right. So the first one we're going to mention, okay, Zeke? First one we're going to talk about. We're going to do my Criterion Collection. All my movies from the Criterion. So first off. No, oh, he wants to be in my lap. I guess he's going to help me with this. All right, first off is this one, which is the America's Lost and Found. It's a seven-box collection with an awesome booklet. All right, I'm going to have to... I love you, babe, but you got to go over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. It's okay. All right. Sorry, baby. Not, not today. Maybe later. Not right now. Okay. Now while we're doing this video. So this has got a collection of a bunch of different movies. And if you look at it right here, it's America's Lost and Found, the BBS story. I think the BBS story was something to do with like, I forgot what it was. Like it was uh, movies that were like all done about the same time. I think uh, Bob Ralphelson, Bert Schneider, and Steve Blonner were the producers of this. So anyway, it's got Easy Rider. Drive, he said, A Safe Place, The Last Picture Show, Head, The King of Marvin Gardens, and Five Easy Pieces. Now, I've seen Easy Rider, The Last Picture Show, and Five Easy Pieces. Um, well, I've seen some of Five Easy Pieces. I never got to finish it. Not that I didn't like it, uh, per se. I mean, sort of didn't. It wasn't really my thing. It was kind of boring to me, but a lot of people love that movie. Um, and there's one really, really great scene. So, just for that scene, it was well worth it. Um, all the dogs are just going crazy right now. So, next is Badlands. So, we're going in alphabetical order, by the way. So, next is Badlands. So that's awesome. That's a Terrence Malick film uh, starring Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek. Then I've got Band of Outsiders, which if you know much about Quentin Tarantino, this is... Like, one of his favorite films, I think. And it inspired his Band Apart, which was what it was called, a uh, production company that, like, Reservoir Dogs was part of. There you go. The Big Chill. I have, I have, I have seen Badlands. I have not seen Band of Outsiders. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you which ones I have seen, which ones I haven't seen. The Big Chill, which I did not like. Thought I was going to like it a lot more than I, uh, than I did. Maybe I have to watch it again sometime. The Blob, which I really did like. You see that? The Blob. You like that? All right. Steve McQueen movie. Um, though I did like the remake better, weirdly enough. Blood Simple. Uh, classic. Really, really like that one. Blowout. Really loved this film. And really loved Bottle Rocket, which is uh, one of Wes Anderson's movies. He also did Rushmore, which I really like. And after that, I just wasn't a huge fan. So I'm going to try watching some more of his uh, movies. Brazil. This is this is a classic, guys. Watch. See, this is a classic, guys. See? Right this one? All right. <laughs> Once the camera's on him, he uh, loses interest. Nope keep it over here so you can always see what uh, Zeke's doing. Alright, so Brazil. 
I honestly was not a huge fan of this movie. I like Terry Gilliam. I think there's some movies that he is really, really good in. I, you like Brazil? Did you like it? Okay. Well, I'm sorry. Don't don't be upset. I didn't like it. <laughs> All right. Next is a movie I have not seen. I haven't seen this one yet. Breaking the Waves. But I want to see it. Breaking the Waves. It's on my list. I mean, I have a list of Criterion films I need to see that I own. Another one on the list that I haven't seen yet. City Lights by Charlie Chaplin. Uh, just haven't seen it yet. Um, I want to eventually get The Great Dictator and a couple other ones. Come on, lie down. Relax. Stop whining. Okay. Uh, Francis Truffaut's Day for Night. I've been wanting to see this too. I haven't had a chance yet. Well, had chances. I just haven't watched it yet. Okay. You going behind me? Okay. Then, Days of Heaven, another Terrence Malick movie. I have seen this. I really liked it, but I like Badlands better. Dazed and Confused. Uh, classic. Have seen that, of course. Downhill Racer. I watched this the day I bought it because uh, I thought Robert Redford, Gene Hackman movie, like, can't go wrong. And it was okay. And Guillermo del Toro's, I swear I fucked up his name already, del Toro's th trilogy, uh, which has Kronos, The Devil's Backbone, and Pan's Labyrinth. People are going to get on me about this. I still haven't seen Pan's Labyrinth. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to try to watch it this month at some point. But I haven't watched that, and I haven't watched Kronos. But I have seen The Devil's Backbone, because we did it for Criterion Watch. Okay. Then, still in alphabetical order, uh, Michael Cimino's Heaven's Gate, which I've seen and I really liked. Um, it's got its issues. Uh, obviously, it was a movie that um, had its problems. Do, would you stop licking me? Go, go, go over there. Um, come on, over there. Come on, over there. Over here. Come on. I know, I know. You just you guys just want attention. Stop. Lie down. Sit down. Down. Okay. All right. In a Lonely Place, uh, which I have seen, and I, uh, I actually really liked. Uh, we also t did that for Criterion Watch. The In-Laws, which I did not like um, as much. Like, I thought it wasn't as funny as I thought it was going to be. Just like The Big Chill. It's kind of a disappointment. Jabberwocky, which I thought I wasn't going to like, um, but I actually did like it. I liked it a lot. The Killing, which I love. Uh, this movie is really good. Stanley Kubrick, um, one of I think one of his first, if not his first, uh, feature film. It's also got his other one that he did, um, Killer's Kiss, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Uh, so it's got that. So that's pretty cool. Just gonna watch that too. The Last Temptation of Christ, which I have not finished. Uh, I watched some of and I just never got the chance to finish it. Just like uh, Five Easy Pieces. It was pretty good. I just, I think I got distracted with stuff and then just didn't get back to it. Medium Cool, which my friend Rick Weaver, who you might know from his channel, Down to Movie, um... He found this at a store for like a thrift store uh, for cheap and uh, sold it to me. Always getting cheap criterion is always a fun, fun deal right there. Midnight Cowboy. Ugh, love this movie. Um, it's really fucked up and kind of like depressing, but it's a great movie. Dustin Hoffman and uh, John Voight. You can't go wrong with that uh, combination right there. My Own Private Idaho, another like, kind of depressing, fucked up movie, but really good. Keanu Reeves and um, River Phoenix, uh, before he passed away. So sad. Um, fantastic cast and crew, and Gus Van Zant, or Gus Van Zant, however you say his name. Um, 
Then there's The New World, another Terrence Malick movie. I want to eventually own all the Terrence Malick movies that are out there. I think I'm missing, like, The Thin Red Line and... I don't know. Am I missing any other ones? Is there any... What else? Oh, yeah, I don't think I'm missing any other ones because i got another one that's in here. I don't know. Uh, the Night of the Hunter... That was a that was a really good kind of thriller kind of like for its time it was more messed up than I was expecting it to be. Speaking of uh, for its time, Night of the Living Dead, classic. Um, all right. So for the longest time, I did not like Night of the Living Dead, and I've talked about this on uh, I think on one of the Criterion watches. Um, I did not like Night of the Living Dead, and I even chose it as because I wanted to. I wanted to try it. I wanted to watch it, and uh, I was not um, originally. Uh, you know, I was originally not a, a fan of zombie movies, and so I didn't. And I thought this one was boring when I first watched it, but watched it again and thought it was fantastic. It's a great movie. Uh, but there's a lot to it. There's a lot more to it than just a zombie movie. On the Waterfront, which I still haven't finished either. Um, but it's got like a really classic scene. And it's, it's done by Ilya Kazan. who uh, He's done a lot of movies like A Tree Grows in Brooklyn and, and tons of other movies. But uh, yeah, this is like a very famous... Uh, I think it's the one where uh, Marlon Brando says, uh, I could have been a contender. Um so, Pass the Glory, another Stanley Kubrick film. Uh, I want to have all the Stanley Kubrick films also in my collection. So, I might be trying to get that this month. Those, and if I can get the, all the Terrence Malick movies and other stuff. Like, whatever other ones I want to get. The Player. Oh my god, I, lo I absolutely adore this movie. I'm a movie guy. So, to, to see a movie about making movies, oh, amazing. Especially about Hollywood. This really makes me happy. Princess Bride, one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, so, of course, I had to get this. And Man, look at that booklet right there. And it comes in a little digi book. It's just awesome. Storybook. It's just great. Classic movie. Time Bandits, another Terry Gilliam movie. Um, once again, I want to have all the Terry Gilliam movies. Um, I think I'm missing... I think the Fisher King might be on Criterion, and I don't know. What else am I missing from him? I don't know, but yeah. So just like Terry Gilliam, uh, The Tree of Life is another one I've been kind of excited to do. I don't know why. This is out of order, by the way. So let me just finish these two and then this one. and then So Seven Samurai, classic. Uh, we did that for Criterion Watch as well, and uh, I had never seen it until we did the Criterion Watch, and I really enjoyed it. Uh, here is uh, Straw Dogs, which was a fun movie for, I mean, it's a thriller, and it's kind of fucked up, but it's a pretty good movie. Um, I didn't get to finish the whole damn thing. A lot of these things, as you notice, I don't finish them because I just I get distracted with other shit. So, Tree of Life, which I did a, um, uh, which I did a, uh, was it a uh, Criterion Watch on myself, by myself, when we couldn't do Zoom back then. And the Two Lane Black Top, which I still haven't seen, but I've heard good things. Um, Monty Hellman. Once again, another, I think, Quentin Tarantino uh, director that uh, or director Tarantino loves. Okay, uh, then there's Videodrome, David Cronenberg's movie. Um, I don't have a lot of David Cronenberg's films, but I want to get a bunch of their, his stuff. Um, on uh, Blue on Criterion, and then Virgin Suicides is the last of the regular movies, but. Now, if you're if you know me at all, you're probably like Jonathan. Why isn't there an Alfred Hitchcock movie in your Criterion collection? I know you've had a bunch of Alfred Hitchcock movies. 
And I do. So I'm going to do them all in alphabetical order. There's like seven of them that I've got. And I think they're all the seven that's actually available on Blu-ray. First is Foreign Correspondent, which we just did for uh, Criterion Watch, which is awesome. Then there's The Lady Vanishes, uh, classic. Um, the Lodger, the first movie he ever did. The Man Who Knew Too Much, uh, the first one. Uh, I don't think this the remake is on Criterion. Notorious, which I love, absolutely adore this movie. Rebecca, which we did for Criterion Watch last year. And The 39 Steps. So, that's my whole Criterion collection right there. So, all the movies. Uh, I, I, pretty much, I'd recommend every single one of these movies except for the ones I, I, I didn't like particularly are In-Laws and... Um, the in-laws and what's the other one? Um, uh, big Big Chill. I did not enjoy those two movies. I don't know why. I just didn't. Uh, but aside from there, I, I pretty much loved every single. Downhill was okay. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but I mean, I can see why it's a Criterion film. But it's not something like the scenery is beautiful. And it's a snow, um, it's a ski movie, so if you're into that. Uh, if you're into Alfred Hitchcock, definitely get one of these. Um, my favorites of these are Notorious, um, Rebecca, and The 39 Steps. Four Correspondent is really good, too, as we said. For all the rest, I mean, all of them are perfect. So if you want to just get introduced to Alfred Hitchcock, that'll be the way to go. Um, yeah. Yeah. My my top favorite movies, I think, it's really funny because my top favorite movies are Bees. Uh, probably Blowout, uh, Blood Simple. I think we did a criterion for that. So Blood uh, uh, Blowout, Blood Simple, and um, Criterion Watch for that. Um, and Badlands. Those are probably my three favorite movies of the of the, everything that I have here. Um, I also like that that uh, America's Lost and Found because I really like the Last Picture Show. So uh, for like forty bucks or whatever, to have the Last Picture Show and Easy Rider in my collection, that would be what it normally would cost about forty or fifty bucks. So it was well worth it when I bought it. And I there's a lot I want to see of these, so I don't know whether or not I'll love them or not love them as much. Um, but we'll see. I mean, I. I'm trying to get more into the Criterion stuff, and I'm trying to watch more stuff that I wouldn't normally watch. You know, I'm trying to watch movies that um, that I would normally think would bore me, but I want to I want to get something out of them. Uh, so I really love watching all of these movies. I can't wait to kind of dive more in, and I think this month is going to be a lot of diving into the stuff. So uh, just repeat, uh, just prepare. Uh, so this next one's going to be a Criterion Collection. The week after that is going to be a review. Uh, and then the week after that is, let's see, there's Criterion Collection. I mean, there's going to be, uh, also there's going to be like pickups that'll start on the first of Monday of the month, which will be when we do our uh blu-ray dvds and stuff so there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff happening with the blu-ray hunter just prepare that there's gonna that it's gonna be busy so it's gonna be a busy uh basically rest of the year and then going forward i'm gonna try to do more blu-ray hunter stuff for you guys so with that being said um that is it i uh, hope you guys had a good time uh let me know what you guys think uh subscribe to indie film cafe if you're a huge criterion guy because we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with that um also check out the old uh, criterion watch episodes that i've done some of them are really really good and i think you'll get a kick out of it and this guy's already going to sleep over here so there you go well i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this show even with the interruptions with the dogs um sometimes <laughs> sometimes that's even more funny i guess i don't know 
All right. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will talk to you later. Bye.